is your diamond inside of the August pump prices. Nowadays, one has to hold breath every last day of the month in anticipation of the Energy Regulation Board's announcement of the fuel price review. It is precisely what happened on July 31st when upward adjustments sent ripple effects to the citizenry. In Monday's announcement, ERB Board Chairperson Reynolds Boa cited changes in the movements of international oil prices and fluctuations in the exchange rate as cause for the increment. For citizens grappling with the ever-increasing cost of living, they will have to endure the upward movement of petrol per litre from 24 kwacha 93 ngwe to 25 kwacha 57 ngwe a litre, and for diesel, the jump is from 21 kwacha 87 ngwe to 23 kwacha 36 ngwe. Dissenting voices we have heard over the unstable graph of fuel have gotten louder because of the triple effects that will impact the population following measures imposed by the IMF to remove subsidies in sectors such as energy as the nation serves a bloated foreign debt. Recently, the country hit a double-digit inflation of 10.3%. The rise in fuel prices will undoubtedly trigger chain reactions that will lead to the high cost of goods and services. From what we have learned in the past, purchasing of goods by households will likely diminish as families cut down budgets and this will cause a further lower well-being and it will be a turbulent period for businesses that have to incur high costs of production, exporting or importing goods and its citizens that will bear the brunt of these changes. For an import-dependent country, people will have to brace for impact for tougher times ahead as government again is reminded to step up its local spending because the expert terminologies of what is causing fuel to rise do not mean much for hungry stomachs. This is at a time when the staple food millimill is increasingly becoming unaffordable for the majority. 